Oh, they were at it again today. I went down to um, go to Walmart and Dollar Tree. They're following me. Okay? See all the regular vehicles. So, I start rambling through everything like I always do. I get tired of repeating myself. Okay. <clears throat> From will being corrupt. And why everything he said was illegal. Okay? That he couldn't do it. And what it would be called. Okay? So, uh, and him bullying me on a recorded line. Okay? And then to the gunshot night. And how Dave got caught on um, a record on um, home surveillance on a protected light case, how they kill people. And I, about the one guy saying his son died and that lady said her husband died and how I ended up getting tortured over it. <clears throat> okay. I start stuttering. I can't breathe. I literally can't breathe. And I'm like, breathe. But I'm choking on air. It was the worst night of my life. Being tortured. Almost being shot. Being stalked. Almost kidnapped. Uh, it's horrifying. Um, but being tortured, you can't get away. And... Um, I go in Dollar Tree and people come in. Nobody's to say a word to her. Okay. So I go to go in Walmart. And I went in the puppy aisle. And I'm looking at different stuff. And I went to pick up this phone. And I thought, oh, no. I'll put it back. And then I went down and around. And I'm so scattered at that point. I'm like looking on the ground for it because I forgot to put it back. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm digging around. I'm, I'm like even digging in my purse. I'm like, did it fall in there? And then it's like, a oh, duh, you put it back, you know? And um, I'm just so flustered at that point. I go back and to like the butter aisle and stuff. And I'm talking to this one uh, worker. And I was telling her about it. I said, I'm pretty sure I put it back. I said, I even dug through my purse to just make sure it didn't fall in there. <laughs> And I said, she started laughing. I said, more, is that or it's under our counter? She's like, we'll find it. Don't worry about it. And I said, I just get flustered. And, uh, and she said, it's okay. And then, you know, I talked to her for a few minutes. And, you know, I even digged again like three times before I left. And I went to walk out. And some mean girls come in. She's dug through her purse several times. I wonder why. And, well, yeah, well, I dropped some. I thought I dropped some. And I want to make sure nothing fell where it shouldn't have. And make sure that I, you know, because I'm an honest, good person. That's why. And I forgot I put it back on the counter because I got so upset from talking about the gunshot night and the rape and torture. And um, asking people while they're driving by when the old lady's light went off. It was like an explosion. Like, poof. Was that the light just being knocked over? Or was that in the dark? The explosion from a gun being discharged. Good question. Huh. There's a video of it in the protective light gate. And how much you want to bet it was her apartment where you went to the wrong house? Because why did her light go off? Why did her light go off? Why? And why did it go off like that? The guys that watched me, you did nothing wrong hiding for your life. It's not wrong to hide. But you don't realize everything that happened that night. No, I don't. And I, I can tell them what the house picked up and that they let me know that the house got it. Uh, when I was in protected custody up in Ravenna and I told them what the men said to me. And I can tell them that. And, but 
you did nothing wrong hiding for your life. It's not wrong to hide, but you don't realize everything that happened. When I went to get that lady help in between July and September 19th, I ended up getting tortured for we can't ever state what happened up there. They were so scared. These people are highly dangerous. They are evil on satanic levels. Uh, and people run around making fun of me for a retired judge in it with a drug gang mixed in with a cult, becoming a whole new animal, a revolving animal of drugging people, having fake FBI badges, corrupting will, and everybody knows, including the Captain Police, they corrupted will. For we're on a recorded line. Because I told you, I tried to tell that man about Dave calling that guy a giant eagle. And by the ATM, he threatened to knife me. And I got away from him, and I opened an account. And the pizza hot lady, I got paid to watch her. And the banker screaming at her. And it was going back and forth. And the guy tried to kidnap me, tried to carjack me, threatened to knife me. walks out around me, and she walks off. No, either Dave called him. Dave called someone to call him. Worst scenario, use the company phone. Or the pizza hot lady called him. And he had Dave and he knew it. You're a liar. It's like the banker was screaming at her. It was right by the ATM and be under You liar, you're a confessional liar. Rush. He can't do that. It's badgering a witness. Obstruction to justice and tampering with evidence. You hear me, I'll put you in jail. It's like, fine, whatever. That's not legal. It's like the mob threatening to break your legs if you testify. Okay? And then, do you know if he has a girlfriend? I don't know. I didn't know at that point. And he's like, some guy's rambling in the back. Stop, she don't know. And then, I'll let you do informing. You'll offer me all these big deals. Uh, and then, but if you tell someone, I'll let you crazy. And no man can ever have it. He's not God. Very evil. And you can't tell somebody. No one can help him again. He can't list him crazy for telling someone. My one friend worked at the prosecutor's office. He said, none of that's legal. You can't use illegal against somebody. You can't use something that somebody uh, bullied a witness into a false statement when uh, he was obstructing justice and battering a witness. Uh-huh. And uh, trying to act like he could set her up and that people would have to actually fall for it. He's retired, and the Department of Justice needs to pull that tape. In his own words, on a recorded line, committed life in federal prison. Anybody can help me. I was found innocent of everything and carrying around the house state case. He opened it to cover his ass and turned me over the police and had an officer talk to Dave. Per requirements of the Department of Justice, police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life. Failure to notify for initiating is abuse and misconduct, and failure to protect is abuse and misconduct goes into the right of privacy, illegal search, and seizure. It's five years. Then for every civil right broke is one to ten. Conflict of interest is one to ten. They have life in federal. Without the drugs, the attempted murder, extortion, and racketeering charges, they'll never see the daylight again for ever putting their name on any of this. It's like, don't threaten me with your crimes for a minute where you broke in my door within the first six days and I'm not moved in, where I woke up with bruises and I got sick on drink, you had date rape, drug confessions, and you photoshopped a shower scene. It's like, I got the stupidest criminals around me. And, what, and they even bragged August 10th, 11, 22, Walmart 62 by the hair salon. Started following me that they had called Will and cut a deal. And he would he set me up. That is a setup. And it's very illegal. And it's foolish for anybody to even listen to any of that. Because you can't do any of that. Even like I said, my one friend that worked at the prosecutor's office after what that agent did. There's no excuse. Nobody's helped you yet. No, it's not. And you don't go around with listening to someone who broke a lot of federal laws. He retired. And he needs to be hunted down and put in jail. I almost died, my daughter-in-law and my grandchildren almost died, and my middle son. And if that man's son did die up there, they do need to make this right with everyone. And it's wrong. And these people need to go to jail. It's like, don't threaten me with your crimes.